Derbyshire, thanks to a five-wicket haul from Tony Palladino and 96 from Wes Durston, fought back strongly on the second day of their LV County Championship match at home to Middlesex to balance the game up again. The opening three sessions had all belonged to the visitors who began the day on 115 for one, just 39 runs behind their opponents and the omens weren't too good for Derbyshire when their former star Chris Rogers moved into the 70s. He had begun the day on 66 but that shot was his only scoring one of the day as to the 30th delivery of the morning he had a waft at a ball from Palladino and edged behind to go for 70. The former Essex bowler started proceedings very strongly as with his next ball he claimed the wicket of Dawid Milan for a golden duck. Both catches taken by Tom Poynton, deputising for Luke Sutton who'd injured his hand on the first day. When Neil Dexter's disappointing start to the summer continued after he was bowled in Palladino's next over, Middlesex had slipped to 129 for four. It was not the start Middlesex would have been craving and it almost got worse for them. John Simpson's desperate dive just getting him home in time. Making the most of that, he flayed this ball from Ross Whiteley over point for a boundary. However, he didn't last much longer. A half shot only deflected the ball from Greg Smith into the bucket hands of Chesney Hughes. Simpson was gone for seven. The visitors had lost four wickets for 46 runs and Ben Housko had seen them all fall from the other end possibly wondering what on earth was going on out there. In the meantime, he played comfortably enough as he approached his patient half-century. However, two runs short of that, he was defeated by another cracker from Palladino. It must have been a good ball to end an innings which had lasted nearly three and a half hours. In his next over, Palladino, who was doing it all virtually by himself, took his fifth wicket of the sixth to fall in the morning, trapping Ollie Rayner in front for four. It had very much been Palladino's morning and Middlesex went to lunch on 187 for seven, a lead of just 33. They had added only five more when they lost Gareth Berg, but Stephen Finn clubbed some late runs to take his side to a batting bonus point. Indeed, he and Tim Murta had added 26 for the ninth wicket when Finn tried some finesse and was bowled around his legs by Hughes for 15. Every single run could be crucial on what was becoming a low-scoring game at this point, so shots like this from Murta were valuable. Corey Collimore was the last man out. He just couldn't resist having a go at Hughes's slow, slow left armers, one of which the edge behind. Middlesex were all out for 230, a lead of 76, with Palladino's figures reading 5 for 39 from 17 overs. So how big a lead was that going to turn out to be? It looked substantial when Wayne Madsen survived a loud appeal for leg before to the first delivery of the innings. Derbyshire didn't help themselves either at the outset as Madsen committed running suicide and was rapidly beaten by Berg's brilliant bit of fielding. It was certainly not the start the home side required with Madsen gone for four with a total on ten. But it meant that this was now a great chance for Derbyshire's overseas signing Usman Kawaja to shine. He and Durston, doubtless encouraged by their colleagues' efforts with the ball earlier, continued the excellent fight back which was by now close to restoring parity. After their fine win over Leicestershire last week, the first day would have been a bitter disappointment for them, but they were showing plenty of character as Durston and his new Aussie colleague started to put back to ball. Some of the shots played by Kawaja just oozed class and the pair had made the scores level again by the time T arrived. Durston, looking as good as he has done since rejoining county cricket during last summer, reached his 50 off his 92nd delivery. And he didn't stop there. Those at the ground had to start to reassess the view that this would be a low-scoring game as batting suddenly looked a lot easier in the warm Derby sun. Durston was certainly making it look so, a point proved as he thumped Rayner over the rope for a six. Kawaja showed good judgment throughout his innings, picking the ball to hit. His battle with Finn was a fascinating one, two future stars of the game if they're not ones already, and this particular battle was won by the Australian as he added 147 in 36 overs for the second wicket. But then both fell in quick succession. Durston, needing just one hit to go to his 100, tried to work Murta to leg and was plumb in front. Then Kawaja nicked an attempted cut shot off Berg to Rayner, five short of his 50. 
half an hour remained and Derbyshire were on 163 for three, a lead of 87. More wickets at the end of the day and Middlesex would have been back on top, but Hughes and Dan Redfern survived with few alarms. It was a fabulous response by the home side, who ended the day on 193 for three to lead by 117 runs. Quite a turnaround. Who knows what this game will bring up next?